You can see it on main event boxing. Moving into our next fight here, fight three of nine, Dion McNabney and Shannon Shaggy King. McNabney with the experience advantage inside a pro ring. Shannon King kickboxing royalty, if you want to put it like that, as we take a look at the maths that matter and the height reach and weight advantage is all in favor of the local let's go to perry welcome back ladies and gentlemen live from the resident entertainment center bout number three is upon us introducing first from the red corner fighting out of hamilton new zealand please welcome dion McNabney. Opponent, ladies and gentlemen, the Karen A1 World Kickboxing Champion, fighting out of Brisbane, Queensland. Please welcome Shannon Shaggy King. You ready? Let's go. Yeah. Need his name up in lights, he just wants to be heard. Whether it's the beat of the mic, he feels so unlike everybody else alone, in spite of the fact that some people still think that they know him. Before. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, bout number three of nine, four by three minute rounds in the junior middleweight division. When he actually begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Mr. Adrian Cairns. Introducing first to my left, fighting out of the red corner, he is self trained, official weight 68.35 kilograms, standing five feet eight and a half inches tall. This man has been in the ring with Eddie Delic, Ben Costello and Robbie Bryant. Fighting out of Hamilton, New Zealand. Tonight wearing blue shorts with grey and white trim. Ranked number three in New Zealand. 21 fights, five wins, two by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting Dion McNabney. And his opponent to my right, fighting out of the blue corner, trained by Azatron Smith and seconded by Bruce Preacher McPhee from Corporate Box. Official weight, 69.45 kilograms, standing six and a half feet tall. Tonight wearing black and grey shorts with a white trim. Ranked number 24 in Australia, the current A1 World Kickboxing Champion. Undefeated in boxing, three fights, three wins, two by way of knockout. Fighting out of Brisbane in Queensland, please welcome Shannon Shaggy. Fight is through centering, please, for final instructions. Instruction in the dressing room, you know what to expect from now on a good, clean fight. Protect yourself and defend yourself at all times, and most of all, obey my instructions at all times. Touch gloves, go back to your corner, come out at the bell. It is Shannon Shaggy King with the preacher Bruce McPhee, one of many in his corner. Aaron Smith there as hey, fellas. well. Fellas. Uh, against. Camera. Dion McNabney from Hamilton, New Zealand, an international master of main event boxing. We are in the junior middleweight division. Dion McNabney, a former PABA champion, but that was yeah. quite a few years ago now. He's. Uh, McNabney in the blue and silver. Shannon Shaggy King in the black and silver. Regular up here in Queensland. And fight fans, we got quite a show for you Friday night, 8 p.m. bell time. Omar Sheikh, Johannes Mwechapunga for the Australian middleweight title. McCulloch, Flanagan, Broadhurst, Ross and Milner King on the undercard. That is Fox Sports Friday night fights this Friday at 8 p.m. Hope you can join us on a... Big week in Aussie boxing here in the Sunshine State.
Dan McNabney, 35 years of age, he's, uh, he's a trial horse these days. Uh, you know, he's been a PABA champion, he's still number three in the middleweight division in New Zealand, but uh, Shannon Shaggy King, a former world kickboxing champion, undefeated as a professional, should have too much firepower, I would think. King calculated from the experience he has gained in all those kickboxing fights that he has had. 21 in total, 19 wins, just the one loss. Other kickboxers uh, making or considering making the switch. There's a big, big name preparing for debut, I believe, but sworn to secrecy at this stage. Oh, I must ask you when we're off air about that one. I'll still say nothing. <laughs> I'm sworn to secrecy, Baz. You'll tell me, because you know I won't say anything. But I just, I there, there's three forms of communication in Australia, telegram, telephone and telebarry. Tele That's right. <laughs> Not the first time I've heard that one. I'll tell you what, I really think when uh, Shaggy King gets on target, Dion McNabney is going to be in trouble. I think he's having a bit of a look this round, uh, the former world kickboxing champion. I think he knows what he can do and he's uh, just getting a round or two under the belt. Marching forward here, King. Sticking out that left hand. He has the height and reach advantage. 5'8 in the old language, Dion McNabney. Shannon just on six foot, maybe six one and a half with the Mohawk. McNabney throwing two punches and changing levels as King launches. And in fact, cramped himself a little for style as McNabney went back into the neutral corner. He certainly did there. He closed up the distance too much to give himself uh, any leverage on his body shot, which he didn't throw. But uh, I think it's just a matter of time. I don't I think Dion will out. start slowing down once he cops a few hard ones. Shannon, three fights, three wins, two inside the distance. He's only boxed professionally seven rounds. Time in round one. Not too bad, man. Just keep those hands up, right? Keep fight still. It went nice. But you're just working, on, working a little bit slow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm trying to get I'm trying to get to yeah. no, 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 no. combos, you know, rather than just one jab in. Jab in, start it going, and then just start moving the head. Yeah. Yeah. So, just start moving when you're in there because you're getting there. I think you're feeling a bit stagnant. This is just standing straight. Let's jab in and just feel it, bang, yeah. just pop it off, and then just let it just start the flow straight away, mate. Yeah. So let your jab just go. Just to get the combos. Right here. Seconds out. Here we go, round number two, a junior oh. middleweight between Dale McNabney and Shannon King. McNabney in the blue and silver, King in the black and silver. McNabney intent on staying away from the power of Shaggy, Shannon King, which he knows. And, uh, yeah. Three. This could well four, be the beginning five, of the end for young six, Dion. I'd say so. Seven, I think he was pretty spent eight. at the you end like of the first, one? to be honest. Box. They almost look like two different divisions. Shannon King uh, physically just so much bigger than Dion, who is going to be reliant on uh, his now 80 rounds of professional experience as he punches on. Break, break, the back. Let go, let go. Good straight punching from Dion. And Shannon back against the ropes. Look, Dion's got class. What he hasn't got is condition. Um, you know, and Shag Shannon Shaggy King has got class and condition, and uh, it's just a matter of time. That's two, two three, inside the four, one round. Five, Under Australian rules, six, three knockdowns in any one rule seven, in any one round eight. is an automatic You're right. stoppage. Yeah. Well, we've got one You're minute right. forty-five one minute five five seconds remaining, and Box. it's going to be over for sure. If you're a betting man, you would be suggesting that uh, that may oh well be head clash before the end of round number two. Nasty head clash there, and I think uh, Shaggy King might end up with a cut on the forehead. Is Normally used to fighting with knees, elbows, feet, and everything else, so a little headbutt's not going to hurt Shannon. Goes up the top nicely. This is uh, where we commented 
his last fight, which was in the Gold Coast Convention Centre on the Sonny Bill Williams Scott Lewis undercard. Shannon King does not rush in, ball at a gate style. Even, even though he's on top, he sits back, relaxes, and throws his punch as well. And that is it. That is it. Shannon King victorious. KO round two. Round two, it ah. is over. Yep. Oh, really? <laughs> that man on screen, Shannon Shaggy King, undefeated still. Let's take a look at uh, the end, Barry. And it was uh, comprehensive. Lovely little uppercut it was. Nice timing. Three knockdowns in one round signalled the end there. Compulsory end of that bout. Shannon Shaggy King stopping Dion McNabney in the second round. Okay, time for young Shaggy to have his hand raised in victory. Let's go centering to Perry. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Adrian Cairns puts a stop to this contest. Two minutes and three seconds into the second round after the three down knockdown rule. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner by knockout, Shannon Shaggy King. Good win for the Shaggy one. A winner by knockout three times, dropping his opponent in just the second round.